All right. Hey, Collective, I'm back on here to come give you guys a general spread for today. Remember, the spread that I'm pulling here for you guys is timeless. It's also general. So I need you guys to only accept the message. If it's for you, if it's not, leave it for the next person. Also, don't forget to hit the like or the subscribe button. If you haven't already, come join me so we can grow the energy over here for you guys. All right. So we're going to jump into this energy. Only receive the message if you know it's for you. All right. So the first card of flaw for you guys, we have the Divine Feminine card. All right. We have ancestors are helping you and we have the Karmic Clean. So I definitely feel like for a lot of you divine feminists, you have ancestors that's helping you do some form of karmic clearing right now, okay? Whatever this karmic clearing is, is going to remove blockages from a lot of you divine feminists, all right? Because we have, it's your season. For a lot of you divine feminists, this is your season around some form of karmic justice, all right? Also some form of spiritual justice for a lot of you divine feminists, all right? It's all about you guys clearing out some form of like karmic energy so you can receive this karmic justice and or spiritual justice for a lot of you guys, okay? We have the completion, all right? So it definitely is a form of completion to a cycle, all right? A lot of you divine feminists were definitely in some form of karmic cycle where I feel like for a lot of you guys, you had false people who were paid off okay to try to emotionally manipulate a lot of you divine feminists all right um for a lot of you guys but we have the no weapon form shot prosper okay we have it has backfired and we have the phoenix rising okay so for a lot of you divine feminists whatever this was for a lot of you guys this emotional manipulation i feel like it has backfired what that weapon that was formed against a lot of you guys i feel like you guys went through some type of phoenix rising so you guys overcoming something or overcame something for a lot of you divine feminists allow some form of weapon to not prosper against a lot of you guys okay so whatever this emotional manipulation was that someone paid off people to try to put you in that energy it has backfired here okay because a lot of you guys you went through a transformation okay a rebirth all right we have you are ascending and we have the truth so a lot of you divine feminists is something significant about you guys are definitely ascending right now okay and for a lot of you guys this ascension is definitely bringing you guys in to some form of truth okay all right and i feel like whatever this truth is is going to clear out some some form of karmic clearing for a lot of you guys okay all right we have to go out in nature all right we have to connect with ancestors so something about you guys going out in nature right now and connected with your ancestors the song that's planned for you guys right now is outside so it's something significant about a lot of you chose uh chosen individuals divine feminines going out right now and grounding your energy because for a lot of you guys you're going to receive some form of clarity and it's going to come from a lot of you divine feminines your inner voice your intuition okay it's going to come to you guys um through your um, meditation here okay so something about you guys receiving clarity right now okay and we also have the akashic record okay and we have the truth revealed so it's something significant about you guys meditating and tapping into your guys's akashic records is going to give you some form of clarity and it's also going to bring in some form of truth here okay um for a lot of you guys around whatever this emotional manipulation was okay all right for a lot of you guys it's going to be some form of truth revealed around some form of false person this has been a dark energy for a lot of you divine feminines that have been causing blockages around a lot of you guys leveling up to some form of star energy okay for a lot of you guys so you're going to get some form of clarity of who this person is okay so because i feel like a lot of you divine feminines is something significant about you guys who are supposed to be in some form of star energy but it's something about someone has been wanting to cause blockages for a lot of you guys okay um we have the star energy and we have the empress energy so it's something about you guys um being stagnated right now okay you guys are supposed to be in some form of empress or star energy but you guys have a dark energy that has been causing blockages okay um we have the spiritually attacking card that flew out here so this could have been a darker energy that has been spiritually attacking a lot of you divine feminists and then we have the childhood card so i don't know if some of you divine feminists been dealing with whatever this darker energy has been doing since your childhood all right but it's something about you guys are going to receive the truth around who who this darker energy is okay um we have trying you trying to show you the way and we have the passover grandfather so this could be a grandfather for a lot of you guys that's trying to give you some form of truth or clarity around something that someone has been doing since a lot of you divine feminists since your childhood okay like i said you guys are supposed to be in this empress um star energy but someone has been blocking you guys okay um and something significant about your childhood but we have the cycle ending okay so it's something about a cycle that's ending it 
ending with a lot of you divine feminists. And we have we have 444 on the clock. You're being protected. We have the curse ends with you. We have the generational curse breaker. So it's something about, for a lot of you divine feminists, by you receiving this truth and clearing out this, this karmic clearing, it's in and out some form of generational curse. Whatever this curse is, for a lot of you guys, that has been placed on a lot of you divine feminists is going to end with you guys is okay you are the one chosen to clear out this energy okay so the curse is going to end with a lot of you divine feminists it is a cycle ending for a lot of you guys okay um whatever this tough cycle i feel like a lot of you divine feminists okay have been going through a tough cycle since childhood okay you have been dealing with blockages all right um for a lot of you guys now don't don't receive the message if you if you know it's not for you okay um if you have a good um you know, energy going on right now or whatever that is, this is not going to be for you, okay? Um, but I'm speaking to a divine feminine who definitely has been going through some form of challenges and you have overcame a lot, okay? Um, and it's something significant about you guys right now clearing out some form of energy, okay? All right, so some additional messages that came out for this spread was um, we have raised your vibrations, okay? So it's something about you guys going out in nature right now um, to raise up your vibration right now, okay? Because it definitely is some form of cycle that's about to start, but you guys got to clear something out first, okay? Um, that could be emotionally, physically, mentally, whatever it is, okay? It's something about you guys clearing out energy, all right? We have the karmic father. So for a lot of you guys, a karmic father could be significant here. We have the Egyptian bloodline that flew out for a lot of you divine feminists. So it's something about your DNA your birthright, okay? It's something about a lot of you divine feminists, your bloodline here, okay? Um, we have the self-master. So it's something significant about you guys self-mastering something right now. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, with this emotional manipulation card flying out, lets me know that you guys have self-mastered your emotions. It's something about you guys as emotions and someone has been using that to you know, stagnate you guys from stepping into this star energy, okay? Um, we have the letter K that flew out here. We have the letter L, all right? I'm hearing someone named could be Sharon here, okay? Yours is someone else. We have the too many people involved. So for a lot of you guys, it has been a lot of people involved in whatever this was, this emotional manipulation, okay? Um, for a lot of you guys, it was a lot of people paid off to put you in that energy, all right? We have banking info, could be significant here, okay? Um, we have financial blocks removed. So for a lot of you divine family, is I feel like this clearing is going to, like I said, remove some form of curse from you, uh, for a lot of you divine feminists here, okay? Something about your financial, um, you know, for a lot of you guys' financial blocks being removed, okay? Um, we have the three of swords that flew out here. So when I seen this card here, um, definitely for a lot of you guys, you could be in this three of swords energy once you get some form of truth here. But for a lot of you guys, it's something about you guys need to know some form of truth so you can guys move, you guys can move forward here, okay? All right. Um, we have the born in September that could be significant here. We have born in February. We have documents that flew out here, okay? So something about paperwork, okay? For a lot of you guys, documents here. We also have older earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. That could be significant, all right? So like I said, for a lot of you guys, it's something significant about you guys need to know some form of truth. I feel like you guys have a grandfather who's trying to give you guys some form of like information around someone who has been blocking you, uh, divine feminists. And I'm picking up for a lot of you guys. This is someone who's been blocking you guys financially. Okay, and like I said, I feel like whoever this is has been doing this since childhood for a lot of you divine feminists here. All right, um, and it's something about you guys, like I said, the curse ends with a lot of you divine feminists. Okay, you have been the one chosen to clear out this energy. All right, so let's see what, um, who can this uh, false person be for a lot of you guys? Okay, um, so we have the courthouse that flew out here. Okay, so something significant about the courts here. Okay, it could be documentation in the courthouse here. Okay, for a lot of you divine feminists. All right. Okay. I'm also picking up for a lot of you guys. There's something about you guys, um, for a lot of you divine feminists. You could have not got something from the courthouse here. Okay. Some of you guys, because for a lot of you guys, it could be documents about a, um, that's dealing with the, like the courts. I feel like you guys didn't get it here. Okay. Whoever this person is that has been blocking you, it's something about court. Um, you're not receiving these documents here. Okay. That's what I'm picking up here. And look, we have the privileged lady. I feel like a lot of you guys, you are the privileged lady here, okay? I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could have been, could have had some form of documents or something um, to, you know, try to come to a lot of you guys here. Um, you are the privileged lady, divine feminine, okay? So who is this person who tried to, um, try to, um, 
who is this false person here? Yeah, we have the unexpected income. I feel like you didn't receive something here, okay? I feel like whoever this false person is wanted to try to take this. It's something significant about the courts for a lot of you divine feminists. Take the message if it resonates here, all right? So you could have not uh, received some form of uh, money here is what I'm picking up. We also have the house in the upright here, okay? Something significant about a house for a lot of you divine feminines here, all right? All right, what's this? Um, give me some more messages from my divine feminine here, okay? All right. See, we have the message in reverse, and it's flew underneath courthouse. All right. I don't know if some of you guys did not receive some form of message. OK. And we also have the unexpected income that's in reverse. And like I said, you could have had something through the for a lot of you guys, something through the mail here. OK. I feel like you didn't receive it. OK. For a lot of you divine feminists here. OK. So let's see what else messages we can get for the divine feminine out here. OK. All right. We have the poverty card. That flew underneath the privileged lady. Yeah, somebody's been trying to keep you guys in poverty here. When a lot of you divine feminists always comes out when you are the privileged lady. Someone wanted to keep you guys in um in poverty here. Okay. All right. What's this unexpected income in the reverse for my divine feminists here? Okay. All right. What's this uh, unexpected income for my divine feminists here? Okay. I keep seeing the coffin card, okay? All right. We have the concern here, okay? Somebody's in concern, all right? Somebody's concerned here, all right? All right. We have the main female, Okay. So somebody's concerned about you not receiving something here, okay? Somebody might know you guys didn't receive something here. Look, we have the sudden wealth in reverse, yeah. Some of y'all did not receive something here, okay? And I feel like this is like a grandfather that wants you guys. We have the family room, so this could be someone in your family here, okay, that has been trying to take something. I feel like this grandfather is trying to give you guys some form of clarity here, okay? Yeah, so we have the gift in reverse too. Yeah, something something about a gift was not given to a lot of you divine feminists here, okay? I feel like it could be some form of like documents or something like that, all right, um, for a lot of you guys. The song also that was planned for you guys was also was good news ahead, okay? So I don't know if some of you guys got some good news that's coming in, all right, uh, for a lot of you guys, all right, that's coming in. All right, you could be getting good news about whatever this is here. All right, yeah, but somebody has been trying to block a lot of you guys. Okay, um, like I said, something significant about your childhood here. I'm surprised that the childhood card did not fly out. Okay, let's see, I'm surprised that it didn't here. Okay, All right, what are the messages? I told y'all, I knew it. I knew the childhood card. That's why I kept shuffling, shuffling, all right? It's something about you, you divine feminine, okay? All right? It's, a, it's something that you didn't receive here, all right? And I feel like you guys have a grandfather that's trying to, um, you know, uh, let you guys know this or something about you guys. Yeah, because I just seen a great fortune in reverse here too. Yeah, you guys didn't receive something, okay, at all. Okay. But like I said, for a lot of you guys, it could be some form of good news that's coming in. Also something about you guys, please go out in nature so you can guys can get some form of like clarity around something here. Okay. All right. So let's see what else we can get. Yeah, we see we have the fresh start. A lot of you guys are going to have some form of fresh start here. Okay. Once you guys clear out some form of energy. Okay. What's this fresh start? Okay. What's this fresh start for my divine feminine? Because you're going to discover something. We have a discovery. All right? Something about you guys, please go go outside so you can get some form of, like, clarity here. Okay? This could be new. This could, discovery could be anything here. Okay? All 
right? For a lot of you guys. All right, let's see what else we can get. For a lot of you divine feminists here. What's this discovery here? What's this discovery for my divine feminists here? Okay, what's this discovery? Yeah, we have the grounding, okay? So something about you guys going out and grounding your energy. You're going to discover something here. And whatever this is that you guys receive clarity about here is going to bring in a fresh start. I'm here like a new beginning for a lot of you guys, okay? So make sure you guys are grounding your energy here, all right? Because I'm definitely picking up. So this could be someone who's been trying to... A lot of you divine feminists, like I said, supposed to be this privileged lady here. You could have had gift. You could have had sudden wealth. You could have had home or unexpected money. Somebody did not want you to receive that, okay? I feel like someone definitely could have took this away from you guys here. All right, so let's see what else we're going to get out here. Uh, we're going to pull from this deck here, okay? I definitely feel like you guys are going to receive some form of clarity around this, okay? Look, we I can't make the cards up. We have karmic blur board clearing it says energetic clearing rewrite your story live your truth yeah it's something about you guys getting the truth also this is something that's going to give you a fresh start here okay you got to guys got to clear some form of energy because i'm picking up it's a whole bunch of scattered energy here also somebody does not want you to know the truth so it's something about you know um manipulation here okay all right so make sure you guys are definitely going out okay what's this karmic clearing all right so we have the um chamber of violet flame that flew out here karmic release okay yeah it's a radical transformation a lot of you guys are going through some form of transformation you have went through some form of radical transformation okay this is why you guys are ascending here okay um a lot of you divine feminists all right okay so let's see what else we can get out here any more additional messages here definitely feel like you guys are tapping into your Akashic records here, okay? We have Gaia Gateway. It says Wisdom Transmission Earth Intelligence. Yeah, you guys are gaining some form of wisdom around something, okay? I feel like you guys have learned a lot of lessons also, okay? So it's something about you guys clearing out some form of energy. You have learned lessons. I feel like this is what backfired here, okay? Some of you guys could be an Earth Angel here. We have Anunnaki Light codes out here, okay? Yeah, some of you guys could definitely have some something to do with your uh, bloodline here, okay? So it has been an energetic shift, okay? It's the end of a cycle for a lot of you guys. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's new information coming in for a lot of you guys. And I feel like this is what a Passover grandfather is trying to give you guys, some form of new information, some form of new idea. I'm here, like uh, creative ideas also here. It's something about new energy, okay, for a lot of you guys, all right? What else we can get out here for a lot of my divine feminines here all right so we have third eye activation okay yes yeah, see inner vision clear seeing so it's something about you guys working on your third eye i feel like somebody wants to try to close out y'all third eye because somebody doesn't want you guys to see something clearly that's why i said something about scattered energy here all right something about you guys need to ground your energy all right you guys are definitely elevating. Your third eye is definitely activated, okay, um, for a lot of you divine feminists. 18, 18, well on the clock. Definitely having some form of spiritual upgrade, okay? I feel like this is what the spiritual justice is, is you guys' spiritual gifts are definitely elevating here, okay? Because you are definitely, um, for a lot of you guys, clearing out this energy, all right? For a lot of you divine feminists, all right? So let's see what else we can get out here. Um, yeah. Let's get any more messages here, okay? For my divine feminists. We have the alchemy ancestor guides, okay? So your ancestors, this grandfather is helping you guys, yeah, to complete out a cycle, okay? Yeah, this, this grandfather is helping you guys alchemize some form of energy so you can clear out this energy here, all right? And I feel like it's something significant about you guys knowing the truth, okay? Speaking your truth is in and out cycles, okay? For a lot of you divine feminists this is what this grandfather is trying to um trying to show you the way how to clear out this energy how to end out a cycle okay because like i said for a lot of you guys a cycle is ending with a lot of you divine feminists okay all right the curse is ending with you guys you are the generational curse breaker okay all right and look we have the um healing inner child okay so something about you guys also doing some form of healing here 
that always seems to come out uh, for my divine feminists. Okay. All right. What else can we get out here for my divine feminists? What's this healing inner child um, and alchemy here for my divine feminines here? Some of you guys, we have the third eye. Yeah, see, it's something about you guys is seeing things clearly here. You receiving clarity, okay, for a lot of you guys. You guys receiving clarity about who, who this is that has been blocking you guys from stepping into this, like, this, this empress energy, okay? Because for a lot of you guys, someone has been trying to, okay, for a lot of you divine feminists. All right, and it's something about you guys need to know who this person is. You got to guys got to clear out this energy of whoever this is that has been blocking you, or you knowing the truth is going to clear this energy out. Okay, all right, so let's see what else we can get out here. Let me see what else uh, can we pull here. Also, something significant about September 8th. Okay, could be significant for a lot of you, divine feminists. All right, all right, so let's see what else we can get out here. Right. For a lot of you guys, I feel like the, the tables are definitely turned on this person here. Okay, for a lot of you divine feminists, all right, and that's because you guys went through a transformation. Okay, we have the unbound, you are releasing any soul patterns, contracts, past lives. This is what that karmic clearing is for a lot of you divine feminists. You are releasing a lot, okay, for a lot of you guys. You're coming unbound to a lot of things here, okay, you're breaking patterns here. Okay, for a lot of you guys, all right? I definitely feel like it's this truth is also allowing some form of foundation to break down here, okay? Because for a lot of you divine feminists, something was definitely built off of a false foundation, okay? When it comes to a lot of you guys, all right? Definitely some form of false foundation is being broken down here, okay? So what else we got? All right. So we have the initiation, right? Of passions crossing the threshold. Okay. So I definitely feel like for a lot of you divine feminists, okay, you are definitely going through some form of initiation where I feel like you guys are, it's something about you guys getting the truth here. Okay. Um, also something about you guys speaking the truth here. Okay. For a lot of you divine feminists. All right. So let's see what else we can get out here. Okay. Yes, yeah, something about you guys need to know who this person is, okay? All right. A lot of you guys. All right, so let's see what else we can get out here. We're going to get one more out here, okay? Any more messages for my Divine Feminine here, okay? I just seen the Choices cards in reverse here, all right? And we have the Memories here. Yeah, it's something about you guys gaining access to something, okay? Your Memories here, okay? All right. I feel like this uh, grandfather is trying to have you guys remember something also here. Okay. For a lot of you guys. All right. Someone doesn't want you guys to know something either. Okay. Or remember something here. Okay. What's this memories from my divine feminine here? Okay. We have money. Okay. So this could be something significant about abundance here. Okay. All right, we have find a way to abundance. I feel like this is what this grandfather is trying to do to clear our financial blocks for a lot of you guys. We have the owl card, okay? And look, we have the new beginnings. Yeah, it's a new beginning coming in for a lot of you guys, okay? It's all about you guys starting your brand new fresh start here because we have begin a new life, okay? All right? So it's something about you guys have to clear this energy out so you can start new here, okay? We have follow your intuition. So I definitely feel like it's something about you guys' intuition, all right? I also want to tell some of you divine feminists, let you know you are on the right path, okay? Someone wants you to doubt your intuition, okay? Like I said, you could have someone that's trying to attack you guys to close out your intuition, but it's not going to work, okay? You're finding your way to some form of truth, and this could be around abundance for a lot of you guys, okay? All right, someone has been blocking you guys financially here. This is what I'm getting from this spread, okay? Someone has been blocking you financially. This could be someone in your family here, okay? For a lot of you guys, all right? Someone karmic in your family, all right? Something about sudden wealth here you didn't receive. Um, this could be a main female here, okay? I feel like these people are not receiving it either here, okay? I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's something significant about the courthouse here. Some of you guys could have not even received some form of message from the courthouse here, all right? I'm also picking some of you guys could have had trouble with your mail here, okay? Take it how it resonates. Um, 
for a lot of you divine feminists, like I said, if you have a good relationship with your family, then this is not going to be for you. Um, if you know this is your story, receive the message, okay? A lot of you guys got good news that's coming in, okay? I feel like whatever has been lost, because that's what I'm picking up, I'm hearing like lost and found. You guys are definitely going to gain access to something, okay, that have been hidden from you guys, all right? All right, so that's what I know. We're going to pull some zodiacs, okay? And we're going to, um, yeah, we're going to get some zodiacs out here, all right? So let's see. Oops. All right. So let's get some zodiacs that can resonate here. All right. We have Cancer in reverse. All right. A lot of you guys. We have Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Virgo in reverse here. All right. We have Taurus in reverse. Okay. This could be a karmic family. We have Capricorn in reverse. For a lot of you divine feminists, we have Fire in reverse. It's a lot of reversal. Um, some of you guys have been dealing with uh, many of false people here. Okay. All right, so let's see what else. We have an Aquarius in reverse. We have Leo in the upright. We're going to get one more out here. We have air in the reverse, okay? So this could have been an air sign for a lot of you guys. Um, for a lot of you guys, we have uh, Capricorn again, 1010. A cycle is coming to some form of completion with whatever this is for a lot of you guys, okay? All right? Someone has been trying to cause blockages for a lot of you divine feminists. And like I said, for a lot of you guys, I'm picking up since childhood. You've been dealing with these blockages here. Somebody has been trying to block you guys here. All right? Is someone in your karmic family? I feel like uh, for a lot of you guys, that this grandfather is wanting you guys to know. Okay? All right? So that's what I have for you, divine feminists. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel. I will speak with you guys in a minute. And I love y'all so much. Bye.